Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this quick video, I would like to share with you how you can measure the performance of your classifier. classifier. Okay. So in order to do that or to begin with, I provide you a table here. Okay. So this table consists of all right, your target. Okay. Let's say this is the real data. That is actually going to be your test set. Okay. So for, you know, when you break your data set into training and test, so we test the classifier in this test data set. Alright, and this is, you know, the data that your model actually predicted. So let's say this is a simple problem where you're trying, trying to classify whether an email is a spam or a ham. Alright, it's not a spam. So this is a binary classification problem. So binary classification problems can have four different outcomes. So, so what are these four different outcomes? Okay, the first one is true positive, right? So what is true positive is when your actual data is positive and your model predict as a positive or so. And then we have true negative when your actual data is negative and your model predicted correctly as negative. So true negative, right? And we have false positive where your target is negative all right and what is predicted is positive and you have false negative where your target is positive and your model predicted as negative so these are the, all the possible outcomes a binary classification can give so we go back to our table here and we try to label each of these what types what types of outcome they are for let's say the first one okay when your original data is spam, then your model is predict, predict, predict it as ham. Okay, so this is actually false. But what do you think? Whether it's false negative or false positive. Okay, so this is going to be false negative. So let's go back to our definition here. What is false negative? When your target is positive, okay, and your model predict it as negative okay now we're questioning what is positive what is negative okay so we go back to our table here so you define your positive is your spam all right and your negative is the ham or, or the not spam all right so we go back here so means that your target is positive that is spam but your model predicted as negative that is ham so i think it's clear now so we start to do the labeling now so this one also will be false negative ham ham let's see we choose a different color so this is actually true but true it's negative if you see ham is okay, negative okay and we have spam spam maybe use this color this is true also this is positive and then we have true negative ham ham also true negative okay then we have true positive true positive true positive ah this is actually false okay um let's say i choose a, a different color now this is false but this is false positive all right so based on this we can start to build our conversion matrix. So conversion matrix is the one that you use to uh, measure the effectiveness or the performance of your binary classification model. All right. So let's build. So I I define first what is a conversion matrix. So it's actually you know it's a matrix or a table, all right, where you have a target, all right, and your prediction, all right. So, so let's build a matrix here, positive, negative, and positive, negative. All right. So the first one, you know, what, did, what color I use for true positive? So true positive is blue. So this is going to be my true positive. And green is true negative, and this will be my true negative. And, you know, we fill up the rest. This is going to be my false positive and this is going to be my false negative 
So now let's uh, build a configuration matrix for the given table uh, for this example table. All right. So what we can do, all right. So we build again the configuration matrix. All right. So now our positive is spam and spam and also ham ham. So now let's count. Okay, true positive. All right. So true positive, we have you know one, two, three, and also four. Okay, and we count for false negative. We have two. We count for false positive. We have one. And for true negative, we have one, two, and also three. So basically, this is your confusion matrix. You know, to see how confused your classification model actually are. With these numbers, you can measure. The first thing is you can actually measure your classification accuracy. Okay, how you want to do that? Okay, so let's define first. So classification accuracy, um, let's say I just put, you know, accuracy okay it's supposed to be true positive you plus with true negative and then you divide with true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus mm, we have false negative okay so let's count now so we have 4 plus true negative is 3 you divide by 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 okay and you get 7 over 10 that is 0 0.7 okay so 0 0.7 is your classification accuracy and once you know your classification accuracy you can find your error rate or your misclassification rate that is going to be 1 minus 0 0.7 that is 0 0.3 all right so in this first series of video i stop with finding classification accuracy using the confusion matrix but note that this is not sufficient we have more that i will share in the upcoming videos thank you